hello guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to talk about this error code that normally appear when a system start up when you boot a system and the system just boot up this error code will come file file name cannot be found so today we are going to see how you can get rid of this error code for it not to appear whenever you boot on your system so we we are going to get into that how we are going to get rid of it so this is what we are going to do on today's video this is the error code this is how it pop up each time you boot the system so me i'm going to restart the system right now so that you can see how it appears So I'm going to restart the system. So I'm restarting the system. I want to restart the system right now. Click on restart. The system is starting. So let's wait for it to finish restarting. Okay, it's coming up. Okay, the system have come up. Let's wait for a minute, a little minute. It's going to pop up. Let's wait. It's coming out. Yes, this is the code. This is the error code. Each time you boot on your system, it will pop up. Okay. So today I'm going to show you how to fix this kind of code not to appear again each time you boot on your system. So you go to your taskbar, right click, just locate your tax manager click on tax manager tax manager is loading yes this is the tax manager under the tax manager look for startup startup these are the startup programs click on the startup these are all the startup programs that boot, that, that load as the system is booting on. So the, what we are looking for is file name. So the file name that we are looking for, check under the startup, you see the file name. This is the code. These are all the, all the programs that load with the system as the system is you, know, you can disable it to make your system boot very fast so what i'm going to do here i'm going to disable 
the file name from the tax manager. I've disabled it. Once I'm done disable it, I'm going to close it. I close it. I'm done. Everything is done. So what I'm going to do now is to restart the system so that we can check if the code, if the error is going to pop up again. So let me restart so that we can confirm what we have just done. Right, I'm starting the system, so you have to wait for it to boot up. Let's wait as we are waiting. It's loading. I have a lot of programs there, it's slowing down my system. Okay, it's coming up. Oh, wow, it has come up. So now the problem solved, even though you wait forever, it will never pop up again. Problem solved. So this is how you can solve this kind of error code if you have if you are facing this kind of challenge. Thank you for watching.